Now, we have already learned how to do simplifying of cert terms by using uh, the concept of rationalizing. Now, we will go through the second type of question where we are actually looking for an unknown value, maybe A, maybe B, can be anything, alright? And in this case here, the, cons uh, the strategy we're going to use is that we're going to compare the left-hand side and the right-hand side, alright? We're going to compare the rational term, which is the non-cert term, and the irrational term, which is the cert term, alright? So the very first thing that we will have to do is to just to expand out the left hand side first. So we have 2 times 7 which will give us 14. 2 times negative 2 will give me minus 4 or uh, negative 4. Then I have a set 5 here. Right, so this is this expansion here. Next we have a set 5 times 7. So we have 7 times a is 7a. And I still have the set 5 here. And lastly, I will have the last expansion, a sub 5 times negative 2 sub 5. So a times negative 2, which is give me negative 2a, sub 5 times sub 5, which is give me 5. Alright, so that is on the left hand side. And I'll just simply copy out whatever is on the right hand side. Now next, we can actually sort of like group up the terms. Yes, you can see, these are the terms where we are... We don't have any third terms, so these are the rational terms, alright? So we have 14 minus 10a, and these are my third terms, or the irrational terms. So you notice that there is third 5 and third 5. So we can do kind of like a factorization out, alright? So we can have 7a minus 4, and we have the third 5 here, okay? It's like pulling out the third 5. And on the right hand side, we still have negative 16 plus b, third 5. So why are we actually trying to group them up together this way? It's because what we need to do now is actually to compare the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation. When we actually group it up this way, it must be that this one here, which is the non cert term or the rational term, must be equivalent in value to the other side, right? Because this is the equation. So these two are equivalent in values. So this is where we have the first equation that we have, this value must be the same as this value, alright? And we can see that, hey, we can actually solve for a here, okay? So we will bring, um, get rid of the 16 over here, so we have it as 14 plus 16, and we will have the negative 10a when we get rid of it by bringing it over to the other side, and this is what we'll have, 14 plus 16 will give me 30, and my a will be 3. There you have it. That's the first unknown that we were supposed to look for. So we have a as 3. So this was actually by using the what we call the rational term or the non cert term. Okay, so we did a comparison of this. Alright. Now, you will notice that we have a cert 5 here with a b and we have a cert 5 here with a 7a minus 4. So now this value here must be equivalent to this value here, alright? So now we are going to compare the irrational term or what we call the third term, okay? So whatever is in front of the third term was actually 7a minus 4 on the left hand side and whatever was in front of third 5 on the right hand side was just simply b. And we actually found out a from the earlier part, isn't it? We found that a is actually 3, so we can sub a as 3 and we'll have 21 minus 4 which is 17 so in other words my b is 17 and there you have it we have a as 3 b as 17 and we have found the unknown values